What is up, YouTube? You. Whoop! Mr. King coming at you live from the studio. Here are the questions for the day. Please answer them now. Okay. Number one. All right, no, you can pause the video and answer them. Remember some review about chemical versus physical reactions? Chemical are all about producing new chemicals. So think it's making something new, like if you burn a log, the ash that you make after, that's new. Same with the fire that you made. Physical reactions, though, they don't make anything new. So if you slice a lemon, it was lemon before, it was lemon after. So that one's just physical because it's just a new shape. Uh, announcements, I am updating grades today, so please get whatever done you need. Next one, I have a little Q&A. If you're interested, please pause the video while, yeah, over the questions. So pause here. Pause this one about the vaccines. Pause here if you're interested about going back to school. And then today, we did categorizing during the Kahoot. But for the rest of the day, you are going to learn if opposites attract. It's a very big thing in movies where two people are attracted to each other and fall in love, but they have completely different personalities. And you're going to learn about if that's true. So go to Monday, protons, electrons, and neutrons, and pull up the stock. So the first part, I just want your opinion. Do you think people with opposite personalities are attracted to each other? Yes or no? And why do you think that? Is it based on your experience or like what you've seen or heard? And then number two, in science, do opposites attract? Let's find out. So while there, we don't really know for sure, if it's if people are attracted to each other with opposite personalities, in my experience, sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. But we do know in science, it is true. Okay. In science, if you think about like magnets, two magnets will go to their opposite ends. Or in the case of like electricity or atoms, positive will be attracted to negative. They, when I say attracted, that means they go together. So they'll have a tendency to want to be together. So it looks like this. That's attraction. And so in science, opposites do attract. But if you have two positive or two negative, they will repel. Repel means they'll go away. They'll go away from each other. That's repulsion. So those are what will happen if the two charges are similar. So two negatives go away, two positives will go away, but opposite, those will go together on the other hand. Yep. Next, this one I want you to think about. This one will be a little bit hard. It is going to be some problem solving. Let's say you get a positive charge and a negative charge, and they're about to collide. They're about to hit, and that could be really deadly. How could you stop these two charges from combining or colliding and hitting each other? What could you do to stop the positive and negative from hitting each other? Hint, what could you put in between them, maybe? Try and think about that for this question. Whenever you're ready, you may notice if you put something in between, like a water bottle or any object that doesn't have a charge, especially that will stop these two from colliding. And that's the same thing that the, ad the atom does. So what atoms will do, will put a neutron, something that's neutral, doesn't have a charge in between. And that's why I wanted to give you the picture 
of an atom with a proton, neutron, and electron, because then you'll be able to see that even though the positive and negative are attracted to each other, it's nice that the atom has these neutrons so they can keep these two from colliding. So protons are your positives. So think proton positive, neutron is neutral. That's where the name comes from. And then electron is negative. That's a negative charge. So the neutrons, the whole point is to keep the positive and negative safely away. So it's like a counselor, marriage counselor between these two. It'll keep them at bay, make sure that they don't collide and explode. So that was the solution. That's how atoms did it. They put something in between that's neutral. And then last one for the day, please find the answer, do opposites attract? And then when you're all ready, please hit turn in and then take the survey. After that, you're good to go. Bye, everyone. Have a great Monday.